Welcome back, this is Dr. Jun Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're gonna to do a real life case study on Crohn's disease or inflammatory bowel disease. This is a patient that we are actively taking care of in our office. So let's get right into the details. <clears throat> when he was 17 years old, he noticed back in January, 2020, perianal abscess or fissures. Took him to the doctors and they found that he had abscesses. They had it drained and they did a seating procedure to keep the abscess uh, continually draining. 4-28-2020, finally got to see the specialist. They did a C anchor test, which was positive, which confirms the diagnosis of inflammatory bowel disease. He was also borderline iron anemic. In 2020, they did a CT scan, MRI scan, colonoscopy, rounds of antibiotics to make sure there's no infection, along with steroids. No real change in symptomatology, which is abdominal cramping, pain, etc. And the abscesses were still there. <clears throat> August 2020 presents to my office. We put him on a very strict autoimmune paleo diet, or AIP diet which is basically free of gluten, dairy, soy, nightshades, and lectins. We also recommend supplements. Now, this is a 17-year-old male. He was very strict with supplementation. He didn't have any problem with that. The problem was that the AIP diet was very restrictive, and he had continual exposures, maybe once or twice a week, with gluten, dairy, soy, sometimes lectins, etc. So he had continual exposure to inflammatory foods. We lose track of him for a little bit. <clears throat> and then January 2021, he starts Antivio, which is a biological drug, right? To help the immune system or suppress the immune system. 621, CRP or C-reactive protein which is an inflammatory marker for general inflammation, was at 20. Most cardiologists would like to see that number below 1. They check his blood and they say his antivio levels are not at the right level, so they increase antivio at that time. <clears throat> January 22, he's iron deficient and he has lots of inflammation going on, 48.1 double the amount six months ago. Finally, he comes to see us sometime late December. We run a stool analysis, and the stool analysis shows H. pylori, occult blood, right? We did a fit test, and it was 54, should be below 10. We check for inflammatory markers in his GI tract called calprotectant, greater than 3,000. One of the highest numbers I've seen. It should be below 173, right? We have massive, massive inflammation going on between CRP and calprotectant, okay? So he finally comes to see us, and we say, we found these things in our stool analysis, and we sit down, we have a very stern talk. Why? Because initially he did not follow the AIP diet. So the second time around, it's a very stern talk, right? My voice rises a little bit during the consult. Um, the parents have to be 100% on board because now he's in college. The child or, or young man now needs to be absolutely 100% on the autoimmune paleo diet. So we have this long conversation about the importance Right? If he doesn't do what we ask him to do, it will lead down the road of chronic health issues, iron deficiency, nutrient deficiency, and possibly bowel resection. Okay? So he agrees to do a, a strict autoimmune paleo diet. We put on, on gut repair, meaning nutrients that are gut um, <clears throat> healing. There are powders that are available six times a day, probiotics, six times a day, curcumin, six times a day, 
vitamin D 5,000 units with vitamin K2, zinc carnosine, EPA, DHA of 2,000 milligrams. High dose nutrients along with a very, very strict diet. So January 2022, iron deficiency CRP of 48.1. After we start our protocol, okay, with the diet and nutrition combined, approximately two weeks after we check CRP. In February 2022, CRP was 2.7. Now, this is a very rapid result. It's one of the <clears throat> oddities. Usually it takes three, six months or a year before we can get patients down to these types of numbers from the levels that he was at. However, for this patient, it was likely that he was reacting to certain foods that causes inflammation. And eliminating those foods made a profound impact on his health. His inflammatory load went way, way, way down. Now, it's two weeks into the program and we're not out of the woods. In two weeks, we're going to check it again. We're going to check CRP. We're going to check to see if you have iron deficiency. We're going to check ferritin, RBC, hemoglobin, hematocrit, right? Red cell distribution. We're going to check all those things to make sure that he's no longer bleeding in his GI tract. We want to know that he's absorbing his nutrients. So, <clears throat> CRP in, in, is 2.7, check in two weeks. In another four weeks, we're gonna check calprotectin. We wanna see that number below 173. It takes time, but finally, the, this young man has decided that his health is important, right? The impact of diet and nutrition has finally gotten through to him saying that I don't want to live a life where I'm going to be debilitated and fatigued and, and kind of a miserable life. He wanted to make a change. And finally, with the support of loving parents, he's able to come out of this. Okay, it, This is a great case study because food and, and diet and nutrition can make a profound impact on chronic inflammatory problems. Okay. My name is Dr. Jen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.